Uh, welcome back. Now, as a guest, uh, as a child even, our next guest slept on a park bench. <laughs> and uh, he and his mother struggle to make ends meet. Fast forward to present day, and Marco Robinson is now a multi-millionaire property tycoon. Yes, and in an effort to help another family escape the financial hardship he once endured, Marco is giving away a three-bedroom flat in Preston, which is worth £120,000. We'll speak to him in a moment. Morning to you. Morning. First, though, we're going to see a clip from the programme. It's called Get a House for Free. I really want to meet as many people as I can, get to know the story, find out the truth. Tony, pleased to meet you. Find out the reasons why they are where they are. But really, it's about how they're going to benefit from it. Am I going to benefit the right people? Are they going to get the most benefit from it by, by me giving a home to them? <sighs> to meet as many of those who've applied for the property as possible, Marco has arranged an open day. Oh my goodness, it's like a dream come true. What's your situation now? I live at home with my mum and dad, but um, we're in a two-bedroom flat. Got a six-year-old daughter as well. She shares with my mum and dad, and then I've got him in a little box. It's just small. If the asylum fails, you have 14 days to vacate. That means you're going to be on the street again. How do you feel about that? That is scary. Gets you down, doesn't it? So what would happen if you were evicted? I don't know. I've never been in this situation before. Let's get a roof over our heads and, yeah. and then we'll take it from there. And Marco Robinson um, is here with us now. Marco, what we saw there was a selection of the thousands of people who applied for this flat. Just give us an idea of how this came up and how many people wanted it. Well, as you said, thousands. I mean, there was 8,000 official applicants. Um, and it, for me, it's basically, it, I wanted to, to do something to give back. I really wanted to make a difference to people's lives. And, you know, I was thinking, what could I do? And I looked at my past and my struggle as a mm. kid and as an adult, really, in terms of, of making a success for myself. Um, I thought, well, why don't I give a home away? Why don't I pay the mortgage off? Why don't I, you know, what difference would that make to someone's life? And, you know, if you look at people's lives these days in this country, in fact, all over the world, people are finding it really difficult to get a house in the first place. Uh, saving up for a deposit is really tough these days. And uh, people only buy one house in a lifetime, you know, and a lot of people lose it. When, you know, you, you, you know, you come there from a very sort of positive side of this is what I went through. I'm trying to change someone's perspective on life and give them a real chance. And, and then you read some of the reviews in the papers and, and one paper called it poverty porn dressed up as, as altruism. And, and they say it's exploitative. <laughs> yeah. So when, when you see that, how, do, how does that make you feel? Well, it's a bit sad because I don't think they've seen the show, first of all. I don't think they've they're in touch with reality. And um, that wasn't the intention at all. And when you see the show, it doesn't come across that way at all. I've seen it quite a few times. And um, it's really amazing because it's an emotional experience for me to actually go back to mm. some of the memories in my life where I was on a park bench, I was homeless, I was struggling like crazy. But it was amazing to meet these people from all different backgrounds that in today's world, they're struggling more with mm. so many diverse different circumstances that, you know... <laughs> It was like I spent so much time with these people um, when I was kind of choosing who, was, who to give the house to. And how does yeah. that feel, being in that position where, you know, you are meeting many people, as you say, from all different backgrounds in very difficult circumstances, and you have to make a choice? Yes, well, it was an impossible decision. I mean, I wish I had 8,000 houses to give. <laughs> <laughs> because there are, there are the people that, this, that really, you know, deserved this. I wanted to give it to someone who'd really deserved it in the sense of it wasn't their fault where they were. They needed a break. Because if we think about people's lives these days, no one has access to millionaires uh, to mentor them through uh, making money in life or, you know, being successful. It's the school process doesn't really help people that way. If you think about going to school, you don't learn anything about money. You don't learn anything about investing in property. You, you don't learn anything relevant that helps you be successful and happy in life. And, you know, having debt and um, struggling is one of the most horrible things in your life to deal with. So I mean, I'm sure lots of teachers would argue that they do teach them things that are, do help them <laughs> along that journey in different ways. That maybe, um, and what, so, you, so you had to choose, and then, as you say, just talk to us about some of those stories that you're hearing, you know, that the real difficulty, because you, you were two when you were homeless. Yeah, 
Um, my mum had to leave my dad because we had so much debt. A long story, but basically, we had nowhere to go. She had to sleep in a park bench. It was minus five. It was snowing. I mean, I was two years old. I mean, she was going crazy. And she yeah. told me this. And I was like, oh, my God, why did you have to do that? You know, it's not it's not right that you should have to do that. So when she told me this and I learned about it and then I went through struggles with her, one of the drives for me was to make sure that she was OK. So one of the inner drives for me was mm. really fighting for her. And I didn't like school. I, I dropped out early. I didn't really go anyway. And I, I went to so many different schools that school wasn't really an issue, really a part of my life. Part of really my life was about fighting for something better. I know you're not going to tell us um, who you chose, because we'll see that tonight on, on Channel 4, but how's that relationship now? Are they, are they in? Are they happy? Are you still spending time with them? Amazing. Totally amazing. So it's made a big difference? It's made a huge difference to them, and it's made a huge difference to me. Thank you. Yeah. Let's leave it with that thought. Amazing. <laughs> um, Get a House for Free is on Channel 4 tonight at 9pm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that is it from us this morning. We